know what you're looking for. Think about it, focus on it, visualize it. You'll find it. So it's the beginning of the year 2011, I would say maybe March, March 2011. I had just finished recording my first album ever. Um, I was really excited about it and I was going to have this big release. Um, I was on the roster for an artist development company here in Vancouver and they were gonna put together a show for my release. So I would actually get to perform for the first time at this big theater in front of hundreds of people and, and singing my songs that I wrote. I was completely excited. I was, I was like, this is a dream come true. Oh my God, this is amazing. And then fear started to set in like, Holy crap, I don't even know how to perform. How do I perform? What do I do? What songs should I sing? What should I be wearing? Like, I w it was just boom, anxiety. I wanted to put on the best performance ever. I wanted to put on a great show. And I um, and so I went to the reps in this artist development company and I was like, so are you gonna teach me how to perform? Is there like performance training here? Um, Cause I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing. And uh, they said they didn't provide that. They don't provide performance training and they just advised me to look it up on Google or ask some other artists on the roster. Um, so I did. I asked um, this other artist, her name is Christina Alkinsall. I asked her for some pointers on how she, you know, how does she perform? How does she really connect with the audience? Because she was someone who she'd sit on a stool, she'd get her guitar and she sings and she just, can, she, the way she talks to the audience is just so casual, like she's your friend when she's on stage and I really wanted to be able to feel that comfort on stage. And um, and she was giving me some pointers and um, my songs were kind of different. It wasn't like, I, I wasn't playing a guitar, I wasn't sitting down, they weren't sort of soft songs. They were edgy, they were, I had to be moving and kind of dancey a little bit. So. I needed someone who had music like that. Um, I was, it was coming closer to the performance, which is May 2011, and I was getting really um, nervous and frustrated that I hadn't been able to get the help that I wanted to. What I wanted, what I realized was that I was blaming others. I was blaming. Um, I was blaming the artist, the the A and R company, um, the, the artist development company. I was blaming. Um, Google for not providing me with the articles that um, that were helpful. I was uh, I was just you know I was just blaming everything else except for me. I just started in my head visualizing a performance that I would love to do, and without knowing how to perform, I just started visualizing the movements and everything, and um, and but I still needed to know how to to perform without getting really nervous, without, you know, feeling anxious and, you know, thinking about the audience and still keeping a control on my voice um, at the same time. There's tons of stuff happening when you're performing, right? Um, so I was just, you know, sort of kind of just thinking about this performance and visualizing and that sort of thing. Um, and then one day I sat down with another artist and, um, we were just casually talking. We were just talking about what's going on for us. And, um, and you know, I just asked him, I was like, so I'm trying to get ready for this performance. Do you have any pointers on, um, on you know, like what, what helps you perform? He said, have you heard of Tom Jackson? And I said, no, who's that? And he said, this guy is a performance expert. He teaches people like Taylor Swift and he's worked with so many of those celebrity artists. Um, he said he has a DVD collection out and he it's like an instructional training DVD guide of how to perform, how to move on stage, how to connect with the audience, how to speak in between your songs, that kind of thing. And I was like, sweet, where do I get this? Um, and he said, I actually have the DVD uh, files on my computer. I'll just send them to you. And this thing cost like hundreds of dollars at the time. And I was just so grateful. Um, he sent them to me and I studied those things like crazy. And 
and the the show ended up being great like I felt good about it obviously I, I was a newbie so there's lots of places I could have improved but I just I felt good about it and the whole point here is that if I didn't know what I was looking for I wouldn't have found it so if I wasn't so set on looking for something that will help me perform better I wouldn't have found it you know if you're not if you don't know what you're looking for you'll be you'll find everything you won't know exactly how to identify what it is that will help you move on to the next level in your journey so I really wanted to to share that story with you I want to encourage you to define what it is that you want actually define it there's so many times in in the early years of my business where I didn't really know what it is that I was working towards so I actually ended up going in so many different directions I was doing this business te this business over here I was doing I was helping this person out I was um, doing like affiliate stuff over here I was um, doing my music I was just going in so many different directions and not really achieving anything at all um, because I was spreading myself too thin so but once I really identified like this is what I want to do, this is what I'm working towards, I knew that everything that came across my plate, if it didn't, if it didn't fit into the mold of what I wanted to do, I would toss it out. This, this isn't for me. I would say no. And that's a really important thing to learn how to say no to. Actually, I might come up with another episode just on that topic, saying no. So really guys, I just wanted to, to share that story with you and to share the, the meaning behind it because it's really what focusing on what it is that I wanted to do and having a sense of purpose and a direction is, is what will help you move forward. If you don't know what you're looking for, you won't find it and you'll end up going in so many different directions. So know what you're looking for, think about it, focus on it, visualize it, you'll find it. Back from the dead.